Hello everybody, welcome back to the final part of the uh, Sonic Mania Let's Play. We're now in the uh, final zone, or final technical zone, Titanic Monarch. And, uh, you know, I'm going to say this. This is one of my favorite final zones in any Sonic game. I love the music, I love the look of this game. Like, this, this, the backgrounds, shit in this game, look like something out of an entirely different franchise. I, I think, just the perspective of the backgrounds, it looks nothing like a Sonic game. I really like that. I think it's a really fucking good looking level. The background reminds me of Sonic Crackers. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> and the flags remind me of Vector Man. <laughs> you know, Sky, speaking of, of Crackers, there was a moment after we after you defeat um, the final zone boss in Metallic Madness where there's like all these... The, the kind of mosaic on the background look, to me, kind of looks like the uh, Sonic Crackers like title. Ahead, and I wonder if that was put up as like a reference to that or not. Or maybe not. I mean, maybe I'm just they've put in more obscure references in this game than that, so I wouldn't put it past them. I don't know for sure though. Again, this this game, thanks to this game, it canonized the FTCR LP of Sonic Popcorn Maker. So we should all be very <laughs> grateful for that. <laughs> well, there goes a little turtle guy. I don't know what his name is. And now we can find turtle. Oh man, he's no. <laughs> it's gotta, it's gotta fall into the same pattern, you know, flicky, picky, pecky, pocky, rocky. Well, is it, is it one of them called cocky? I, I feel like I, I David wanted to avoid that one, but thanks for bringing <laughs> it up. <laughs> I mean, isn't, isn't that just? I think maybe clucky is sort of a more accepted form. I just, I just remember it was one of those like. Things on Twitter were just like it was like a it was like this tweet of like naming all of the um the flicky names and one of them was just like and what the fuck and it just listed like I think it was a page from maybe one of the Japanese style guys just had the character name <laughs> yeah. all the respon all, all the responses were just like fucking no <laughs> yeah uh, but we do okay so so I really I really enjoy what starts showing up in the background I mean we we it's already been there a little bit but. Hmm. Which I it, to me that that's that seems like a reference to free um, blast, free blast, yeah, panic puppet zone. Yeah, because in, in act one, in act one, you're running around, you're trying to get into the giant robotic uh, machine. So you know, there, there goes Steven. There's your reference to 3D blast. 3D blast, best baby, baby, best Sonic It's game already the made. best modern and classic Sonic game. You have to reference it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> right. Now the the only difference though is that the one in panic puppet just looks like Eggman with a thing attached to his nose. This one looks like an actual robot. Well, may maybe it's a, this is a prototype. What? Because doesn't the blast take place after? <laughs> no, I, 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 I mean, I, it's, technically, it's, yes. Te technically, yes. Technically, yes, it does. No, does I would it? say it is takes there place proof? after. I, 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 I think it's ambiguous. No, I would say, is it? Hmm? Okay, this, the, 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 this may have changed, but I know like a while ago, I, I'm pretty sure Sega at, at some point commented on 3D Blast is meant to be the last. It's meant to be the game that leads into Sonic Adventure because in the instruction manual it states that Sonic is returning from a, a long adventure. And I think at some point someone at Sega said that 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 adventure that the instruction manual references is 3D Blast. And who from Sega said that? It's my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! This looks like some really good level design. Yeah, this this section for like again. Recording curse. That section is not normally that that dickish. And I love those those flags. Look so cool. Hardboard heavies. Look at that. It almost looks like a Saint MBM. <laughs> <laughs> He's with us in is spirit. Is the trap of MBM? <laughs> it's a pretty fucking elaborate trap. <laughs> I also like that the Eggman logo from Wing Fortress is on those flags too. Ooh. Oh, you see his eyes. There he is. Love it. I lo the background gets so. I do, I really, I don't know why people seem to hate on this level so much. I guess maybe it's more Act 2 than Act 1, but still, like... Because it's long. What is wrong with a long Sonic level, though? When you when you game over several times... Well, too bad for you. You don't know how many times I gamed over in this game the first time I ran through it? Zero. I think one of the issues people had was the fact that this, both acts of, of Titanic Monarch are designed to be very very long and I think because because this game still has the time over function I think a lot of people mm. in this in this zone specifically 
got fucked over by that. So I think I think maybe it's kind of like either have one or the other. Either if you're gonna have, if you're gonna have a time over section, maybe don't design your levels to be so long that if people make certain mistakes along the way, they won't be able to reach the end. Or make long levels but don't have a time over function. You know what classic Sonic game doesn't have a time over function? 3D, 3D Blast. Blast. That's right, baby. That's right. The game just says, "Hey, get good." Doesn't even have a timer. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Under time taken, it'll just say too long. Too long. <laughs> so the uh, director's cut will have a will have a timer. That's right. You've been watching the videos, Gareth. Dude, I can't wait. I did. I want to play that. I did, Steven. I want us to re-LP the, the director's we will. cut. Dude, you oh, better we make will. me part of that. Fuck yeah, man. So this, I, I, again, this this is just stolen from Death Like Act One. However, I do like this little like elevator mechanic. It's a, it's a, it's a cute little addition. It's 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 also very annoying if you're knuckles. This boss. Well, I think if you're it, go on. Oh, I was gonna say in a way that the second half or the second phase of this boss is easier than the second half in Sonic and Knuckles. Yes, it's a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> if if you are a fan of retro Sonic or or even Sonic 3D Blast, which I know most people aren't, uh, you should still go check out a YouTube channel called Game Hut. It is amazing, such good stuff. Yep, it's the founder of Traveler's Tales. He's he's decided to do a director's direct cut of 3D Plus. He can't he can't fix everything, but he's doing things like um, fixing up some of the controlling, um, the way Sonic handles, speed. He's gonna remove some of the more dickish elements. It sounds like he's gonna remove a lot, not all, but a lot of the issues people had with 3D Plus. So it sounds like a good idea. That's that's it. Yeah, and that's what we have to say about it. And I, you know what, I. I this this kind of level design, I I, I kind of like this fact that there's just these four little corners you have to do and just do four like mini levels to get to the end of the um level. I kind of like Welcome it. Welcome to the it's, first it's non-linear final zone Sonic in Sonic level. Mhm. Mm I like it. It's experiment. It's, it's like, try wait. something new. <laughs> Which you know, I like. It. It it, it's weird new because ground. you know it broke new ground. <laughs> I will say you know I've I've said it I've said it a few times, but you know I I overall I'm very I think this game is really good. One of the the uh, one. good good job there, me. <laughs> one of one of the the best Sonic games that have certainly been released in the last 10, 15 years. Um, I, I I do think they play a bit too safe with just copying bosses and things from other levels. But I you know if if a future game does something has new zones with original ideas such as this level, I would be all fucking for that. I think it would be amazing. I because like I I think I probably said this in uh, previous parts that we recorded uh, like four minutes ago now. Uh, I think because because it feels like that one of the goals he died again. Again, what well, one of the goals of Mania is to kind of is to bring back classic Sonic to the modern age, right? Like 1994 was yeah, well, the last David, vision. including all of David, his flaws. Yes, David, David. To to be fair though, you could argue that was also what um, Generations was for. Yeah, but it, it didn't do it right. It it really didn't. No, because because classic Sonic and Generations is definitely not. Like this Sonic. Yeah, it's not. But I would, I, I would, I would, I would, I would get quite a, a decent attempt. No, but like, like this. But even then, if you look at like public perception of what Sonic is and how so many people. Oh come <laughs> on! Wait a minute, edit this, dude. <laughs> See, the, 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 there are no problems with the collision detection in this game. Man, before Absolutely recording, you complained about how this video was a half hour. You only have yourself to blame. Steven, Steven, no, normally I, I, I edit stuff out, but because that happened so many fucking times, I left it in because it is like that, that's one of the things that, that we touched upon in Chemical Plant. Well, like, it's literally, it's like if, if like a fucking frame of you is under a thing, you'll get crushed. And it, it, it's one of the things where, like, maybe they they were too faithful to the classics. And again, in something like in something like a Mania 2, hopefully they'll make it where it's not like. I mean, I get it. If, if I'm standing on the topic and it gets crushed, I get it. Kill me. But if, if like just like the back of one of your spikes is there, I think that's kind of a dickish thing to to kill you for every time. Well, I mean, you don't know what's going on in the back of Sonic spikes. There might be something. Yeah, that's where his brain is. <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but okay. We all know, we all know, Sonic has no brain, and as, and as it's been revealed, the big kind of pale section on his stomach is his penis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, real, apparently, real hedgehogs, the, their penis is, is like a little belly button on their stomach. So that big fucking thing, 
on Sonic's stomach is is if we're gonna be if we're gonna try and be uh, correct to uh, hedgehog to hedgehog an um, anatomy that is his penis. So like I was saying before. <laughs> 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 no, okay, because Sonic and Knuckles came out in 94. This came out 23 years later. And with public perception, there are a lot of people who would say, oh, Sonic the Hedgehog was never good, even back in the classics, which, you know, were generally considered, oh, these are the good Sonic games, these are the best Sonic games. But a lot of people were trying to say even, like, Sonic 2, 3, and Knuckles, like, those were bad games. This helps to clarify the fact that no, those games were good, this formula does work, and it still works in a modern setting, like in a modern gaming environment. So true, that's but like David, I would uh, Yeah. I mean true, but I would I would I would probably say if, if you weren't a fan of the classic games, I don't think this game would sway your opinion. Yeah, but I mean but I know people who there were plenty of people who said Sonic was never good who were fans of the classics when they were younger and then just wanted to write off the entire franchise. Thanks, IGN. It needs to re yeah, it needs to reestablish certain things before it can really experiment. And I and I so if if the sequel is just, hey, a whole bunch more old levels and maybe one new one, it's gonna feel kinda like a letdown. But if if it takes what was set up here and then really goes crazy with it, then then I like I'm all for that. And Mania is a, is an important necessary step to that. And Mania in itself is a good game. It feels like it belongs right in there. Even though I know some people here are saying, ah, it's not it's not it's not that great. But it definitely no no I love it. like I aside from Steven, I think everyone in, I think everyone in this LP would is very fond of this game. I think it's great. Oh, yeah. Oh man. It's not just because one time I met Christian Whitehead and he shook my hand and it was so sweaty. <laughs> I was going to say that it, it is with like, it, to me it's just that as, as as a Sonic fan, it just feels like, and again, this this game is is one of the best games to come out in the last seven years. It, it's just that since Generations, and you could argue even slightly before with the, um, I forget, episode, episode one was 2010. Yes. Since Episode 1 came out, Sega have been really playing the nostalgia with Episode 1, Generations, Episode 2, and, uh, and to a certain extent, Lost World. Um, so it, to me, I'm just like, I'm getting just the... I'm kind of getting fed up of the nostalgia. I don't... To me, I don't... I don't view a, a 2D classic Sonic game as as being um, as just being like a throwback to nostalgia only when there's old levels included. So I will happily play a thousand more classic Sonic games in this style as long as everything is original in it. Because again, just as, as a long-time fan, I really don't ever need to go through green-looking hills or chemical plants really ever again. What, what what about green plants and uh, purple hills? Are you okay with that? Chemical, Chemical hills. hills. Chemical hills and green plants. David, 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 Purple Hill is it, it, my favorite D12 song, so I welcome oh, it any day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So this level's cool. I like... I, okay, I, I really enjoyed the stained glass windows in the background. Like the different mm. thing. Like that... Great touch, that great touch. Great touch. And the, uh, and the, this track as well. I think this music track's fantastic. Yeah, um, I think it's very creepy in some ways. Yeah, for anyone who goes, oh, I don't, I don't like the music. Like, how could you not? And, like, this, mo this music is moody. It's creepy. It's like you're inside a giant it's robot. Kooky. <laughs> it's all together, Uki. It's the Adams family. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bringing, bringing up music, I want to correct something that I said earlier when I was talking about Telopes and the um. What he did for uh, uh, Flying Battery. Apparently, he didn't do much for that, but on YouTube, he did make a remix for it, and that's what I was thinking of. And yes, I did, um, I did I, not like yeah. that remix. Oh. I'm getting distracted because yeah. him and, and fan work. It's like, oh, I really don't like re, re, Sonic Mania. Egg Garden just doesn't speak to me. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, though, because like, I still. I know I. I know why he's great. Like I know why like all of this sounds like the classic games, but I think still his the one of the best versions of Green Hill I've ever heard is his version of Green Hill he made just before um, Generations came out with like all like violins and piano and shit. Yeah. So like, I I like so I so I would love a sequel to to Mania where he's allowed to 
do music more in that style. Yeah, I, 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 I wonder. Sometimes I think I might like that track more than some of the Green Hill stuff in here. Although I really do enjoy the Act Two remix in this game. But and also his 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 remix of um, Dawn to Summer is oh just fucking God, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Did you just have the phone just climaxed? <laughs> okay. Anytime I hear Doorway into Summer, yes, I climax. Uh Well, it was nice being here, but I, okay. And so I think kind of like what do you guys think of this as a as a final boss? It, this me to me this feels very CD in the sense that it's kind of underwhelming. Yeah, uh, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's your CD boss, but then you finished your sentence. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess most people know this. Like, th this design is based on the uh, on concept art from CD. Uh, I think what eventually morphed into the final boss of Sonic CD. Ew, this is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this Eggman just joking off in mid air. I'm I gonna say, touch the, you. The um when the when the missiles come down and you have that one, two, three, four, that is a reference to uh, Sega Sonic Arcade. Yep. So these guys really, again, these they guys watched really our did, LP. Has, has, has tape watched? They literally just watched all our, all our LPs <laughs> of random old Sonic games and stole it. They did their hashtag research, I believe is what you're saying. By watch, by they, watching they, FTCR LP. They perfected the hashtag deep cut reference. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Kevin Smith. Taxman does it better than you do. So, th so that means okay. So, so Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, the arcade game, must take place before this, right? Because he had to perfect the uh, visual technology that we see in this boss. Sh sure. <laughs> and Sega Sonic Popcorn Maker also must take place before this game. Is there are there any references to um, Cosmo Fighter or Waku Waku Patrol? Car? I don't think so. I guess that must come after Mania, both of them. Uh, yeah, no, nothing overt that I can oh, think of. Oh, David, so. we're wrong about Angel Island, because Classic Sonic and Modern Sonic, they take place in two different universes. <laughs> no, I don't! <laughs> 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 that was a lie! <laughs> Before you torment David any further, I do want to say that boss track sounds a lot like a Shantae boss track to me. Sonic Generations doesn't work if you do that. John Rick, because he says, look, that's me. That's me from the past. I recognize myself. This is me. And Sonic Adventure can't work if humans don't exist in the same world because Mystic Ruins is there. And that's what the Echidna's are from. <laughs> so, Sky, what was Sky, no, while David's crying, what were you saying? Oh, I was saying uh, the last boss track sounded like a Shantae song to me. Ha. <laughs> So this this um, boss, I think this is it's a it's a nice idea. It's got a great music track. I it's just to me it's a thing of like the the notion that Eggman and Heavy King are fighting over the Phantom Ruby. I really would have preferred that they would have that there would have been more in-game things to kind of show this because really it's just yeah. Eggman doesn't really interact with the um, uh, hardboard heavies really at all, and I kind of feel that's one of the missed opportunities yeah. for them as characters in the game, but. Also, I'll say just as um, right off the bat, just uh, I I find an easy way to kill these two is stay on the floor. Just stay on the floor and and, and wait for them both to come to you. And I find it's much easier to just wipe them out. There. Interesting, because I still struggle with this boss. But I also wanted to ask. I think you mentioned maybe it was on the hog uh, the hog cast that you don't hear fist bump <laughs> in this song. Is that still true? You know, I is it this bit? I think I hear bits of it in here now. Do, 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 do. Stand to me, next to me, and you're next to, you. to me. Yeah. I hear it. I hear it. I am who the stand. Yeah. I don't know the lyrics. You know, it's, Sky, it's, Sky, it's funny. Literally, the day after I said that, I was listening to the soundtrack. It's like, David, fucking is the stupid fist <laughs> pump song. And that was the moment that you started to like it. I have, you, a, Stefan, don't remind me of that. Um, I have a question. Although, apparently, is this, uh, oh, sorry, do, so do you only fight this boss if you have all the Chaos Emeralds? Correct, yes. Okay. And another thing, uh, I didn't even get the notion that the that the Hard World Heavies were rivaling Eggman through any of any of the story. Same. I, I, I don't think through the, through the game that they are, though. Because you, you see the beginning of the game... There's Eggman, like, he's just hanging out with them. He pushes a button, he takes the Phantom Ruby from the king, and they all kind of hop away. It doesn't look like they're yeah. antagonizing each other. It feels like they're working together up until this point when 
the when when the king, I, heavy king, I guess is just overcome by the power of the Phantom Ruby, and then Eggman's like, "Well, we got to play back and forth." But I didn't even get that impression that he was overcome or anything. No, I like guess that. it must. It it just happened in this in this moment. I don't really know. I guess the only. Whoa! What? Oh, yeah, this hits here's some really, really crappy animation here. You, you can tell they spent the budget on the beginning and not the end. But you, you can you can tell that you can tell this is not Tyson Hess animation. Yeah. I will say though, it, it, the first time I I love this moment though, it's fucking derpy knuckles. <laughs> 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 oh man, I. Um, I remember the first time playing that boss fight. It, I didn't even realize they were like fighting. I, I thought they were just working together. To try and destroy Sonic, but Sonic, where are you? No, what have you done? Here's your, your, your direct tie-in to Sonic Forces. <laughs> what have you done? Why did you edit this footage in? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, this isn't the right music. <laughs> and by the time this comes out, Forces will have been out. So. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. Enjoy Forces, everybody. <laughs> How is that a spoiler? <laughs> Wait, what? No! What? <laughs> <laughs> I was over, over, over that over that moment. I was tempted to splice in Stevens. Is that Mario? <laughs> but I decided against oh, it. Oh, that's all right. Put it back in post. <laughs> so there we have it, everyone. Uh, Sonic Mania. Um, it's again. It's as the uh, Metacritic will. Uh, con will will show critically this is the best reviewed Sonic game in uh, 15 years and with only a average of I believe 86 that uh, doesn't really speak too highly of this franchise in general <laughs> but uh, there we have it so why don't we quickly go around and everyone can provide their final thoughts I think because Steven played it the least why don't we start with him uh, hang on Mike no let me go last <laughs> okay sure um, uh, Stefan Stefan let's start with you I like this game got a lot of fun moments it's got a lot of great made moments there are a lot of flaws in it but the, the good outweighs the bad so yes it's 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 a fun game uh eight out of ten stefan favorite and least favorite zone uh mirage saloon favorite least favorite uh metallic madness okay uh skyler let's go with you all right oh man friends by hyper potions uh i met those guys you did. It's true. No, uh, <laughs> this is a great game. I made them too. Shut up, David. Yeah, David. I, I said it a panel. I, I didn't know no. that. Anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. Anyways. You recorded it. I filmed that panel. It'll be online probably by the time this up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Anyways. Scott, sorry. <laughs> I think this game is wonderful. I'm very honored and thankful that I got to have a small hand in its promotion. Um, my hope is that this is sort of the Sonic 1 of a new classic series where they take this and build and improve upon it. Uh, doesn't have to be called Sonic Mania 2, but hopefully there's more to come. This game... Sonic Cranium? Sonic Crania? Sonic and the uh, Secret Totino, I believe, is the... Oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait this, Sky, sorry to interrupt you. Was it, was it revealed that Mania wasn't the original name for this game? That's right. It was originally called Sonic Discovery. Yeah. That's the one, Sonic Discovery. Right. Yeah. Which I think Mania is a much better name, so I'm glad they went with that. <laughs> Maybe they'll call the next one Sonic Discovery. Who knows? As, as, as long as he discovers all new levels of Final <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm speaking like there is going to be for sure a sequel. We don't know, but we can hope. I think there will be. I would at, at this point, I would say uh, Sega would be pretty stupid not to, based just on seriously yeah. all the feedback and how positive. Oh, I should say this: the, the, the track that's playing now is I'm going to assume it's T. Lopes' original version of the intro before um, someone decided to do um, Friends by Hover Potion. Because if if you on the title screen, if you let it play through twice, uh, this plays and it has things like sound effects and when Sonic enters the ring into um, Studio Opus, it plays a few bars of Studio Opus's theme. So I would, I'm gonna put, I have, I have no idea if this is true, but I'm gonna put good money on this being the original intro music to that um, animation. I'm going to guarantee there's gonna be a sequel to this because they, this, this, this project cost n nowhere as near as much as what a normal Sonic game would, and it sold like a shit ton. So. 
I think it, I think it's a revenue machine, Sonic Mania stuff. Hopefully, yeah, but I'm, I'm sorry, Skyman, back to you. Hopefully, there's more. Oh yeah, so I'm, just so Sky just likes to find least and sorry most and least favorite zone. Oh man, um, I'd say my favorite personally is Press Garden, and my least favorite is the credits because it's over. <laughs> That's some deep so, shit. So, uh, David, <laughs> um, thoughts on... And everyone get ready for a 30-hour lecture now, but they <laughs> on Sonic Mania. Yeah, tell us about how you met Hyper Potions. Oh, man, this one time I, met Hyper, I sat down and I said, Hi, Hyper Potion. Remember the time Flynn made the music today? Well, yeah, I do. I was like, that good time, you know? I had good time with them. But, uh... <laughs> no... What was oh, his hands funny? He's sweaty. He's sweaty. <laughs> Knees weak. Sweaty. I had, Mom's oh, spaghetti. Man, I think he was uh, nervous. He was like, why are you here? Like, <laughs> I think this is my hotel. <laughs> what are you for getting? No, no oh, but, oh, man. This game. I can say a lot about this game. I feel like I have said a lot about this game. We know. Because, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. because, look, ever since it was first announced uh, at the San Diego party in 2016, I've been super excited for this game like because it is the accumulation of everything that i think the, the the fandom that is built around sonic the hedgehog has been building up to it, the because like, the, the people involved uh you know tax man stealth uh you got you got your uh <laughs> sorry yeah, yeah. I mean, you got, you got your Hunter and your Brad in there, and then you, you got T Lopes, and you got everyone from Pagoda West, Tom Fry, and then Jer- I'm gonna say Jared Leto. That's not his name. Look, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but just the, the Jared Leto. Right, the, I mean, the the fact that this entire community built around uh, these handful of 2D games, especially spurred by like the Hidden Palace Zone and the Sonic 2 Beta, and all of the reverse engineering that was well, I mean, that's what, yeah. Like the fact that they studied the classics to, to such detail that they were then able to to boil down what the essence of Sonic the Hedgehog was and then construct a new experience where I mean yes I know everyone loves to say it's it's not flawless I don't I mean, you could I don't know if there is such a thing as a perfect video game but Bobsy 3D oh, right except for that <laughs> one but I consider that a work of art not a video game <laughs> but but yeah just just every all, all of these bits and pieces came together to create this this perfect hole. I, I would say, especially for this moment in time, uh, yeah, a perfect, perfect hole. hole. <laughs> it, you could, the you fractured could fall right hole. into uh, no, but but because when you consider what Sonic the Hedgehog has been through over the last decade and a half, you know, SA two was the last one that was rated, you know, in the same category as Mania, and I, I think Mania is probably is I would say is a but what did what did what did what was the Metacritic then for like colors and generation? I mean, I I wasn't it like Six. in the seventies? Really? I, I feel Seven. like it was in the. <laughs> I feel like it was I, maybe like one version Eight. of generations had an eighty something. I don't know, but it, it might there might have been low eighties. I I don't remember offhand, but it was definitely like eleven <laughs> high seventies, low eighties. But oh no, the credits are done. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania, I, I mean, I haven't had that much fun with a, a Sonic game in years. I mean, I, I enjoyed Generations, but this blew Generations out of the water. And I kind of have a hard time going back, especially to the classic Sonic in that version. Uh, because Mania just it nails so much that's right with what Sonic is. And I, that's why I look forward to whatever comes next, and I, I can't wait to see whatever that is. Uh, so David's really, David's really looking forward to forces. Y- yeah, Sonic, Sonic sequel to Sonic. Man, look, they're not from different universes. <laughs> <laughs> Which technically, technically, forces as we as we were able to to gather from that ending, forces is the sequel to Sonic Mania. <laughs> it's not I was like right that. all along, I guess. Gener- Generations has a 77 Metacritic and Colors has a 78. What? Uh, respectable. Um, yeah. I want to see whatever this team does next. Even- Samba de Amigo. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Sonic team. How about Burning Rangers? So, David, then, favorite and least favorite zone? Oh, right. Um, oh, man. That's hard to say. Like, a favorite... Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Favorite, I think it's a toss up between Lava Reef and maybe Flying Battery. There's just something, yeah. And least favorite, uh, uh, 
Um, uh, yeah, I, I think my, my least favorite is, um, that one Blue Spheres level I kept on dying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll just quickly say again, I think this game was a really lot of fun. Um, like, I don't, I, I don't think it was perfect. I think they did kind of try to crib too much i mean from past games which i know it's a bit odd because they are they had they had to redo old levels but i would have liked a bit more originality with things like bosses and certain set pieces but one one of the best sonic games ever made definitely in in my top 10 um i i would probably rate it about eight at 8.5 out of 10 it, it would be a nine if um metallic madness wasn't in because i really hate <laughs> that level so metallic, metallic metallic madness is my least favorite level by a fucking mile um my favorite would probably be studiopolis and so uh steven tell us how much you hate this game <laughs> oh uh it gets a solid 10 out of 100 hey. so uh it, it's shit goodbye everybody <laughs> is gonna save you now.